Hi everyone, my name is Tom Adams and I am the Chief Strategy Officer and co-founder of 60 Decibels and I'm thrilled to join you at this Impact Management and Management Summit. I'm going to talk to you a bit about who we are um, and the work that we do and then give you some practical examples of what this means in terms of the data we collect. So at Essence, we're a very, very simple company. We are focused squarely on a North Star of, of speaking to and listening to the people who do or do not experience the impact we're all trying to create. And there are some really good reasons for this. Whilst a lot of the work on impact measurement and management has, has relied on proxy, and um, by proxy, I mean collecting output data of the number of people once reached and then using maybe a third party piece of research to say well look this validates that this kind of impact should in theory happen and these are the sorts of impacts that people might experience that validates our impact and so now let's just count the number of people who who we've reached that that is um only ever going to give you a a decent approximation of the impact and that the unquestionably most effective way to validate your your social performance is to listen directly to those people that you who impact and think about it in terms of financial performance you would not dream of saying well look i'll use a proxy margin from another company and say well this company's in a similar sector that's the margin that they've got so i'm going to apply that to this business over here and assume that their margin's the same way and yet we, we kind of do that with social impact and so we need to listen directly to people who are experiencing impact so that we can get better data on social performance to validate the social performance we all aim to have. And the second point, I use this word performance very deliberately. Performance requires that we compare ourselves to other organizations or, or past performance. Just think about it, say you're running a race, right? You, you can't tell your performance if you just measured your own time you'd say well that i felt like i was going really really fast so i must be a fast runner and then you turn up against professional athletes and they wipe the floor with you if 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 you and we kind of do that for social impact we say these are the targets we've set for ourselves this is this is our performance um and we put that in a nice infographic but we don't ever compare it to other peer organizations who are who are trying to create a similar kind of impact and Understanding performance requires building these benchmarks of social performance. And that's one of our absolutely foundational principles. We also do some work um, in the same way of thinking about social impact, looking at human rights risks, but I, but I won't touch on that today. Well, how do we do that? As I mentioned, the, the North Star is to listen to people because they understand the, the impact they experience most. We did, the second part is, is to is to design from the beginning for scale. And two features to that for us are to make sure that it's quick and that it's standardized. A lot of social research focuses first on rigor and the, trying to get it into an academic journal or something, um, in which case you've got to do something new and different. And um, we kind of got used to that in terms of the idea of evaluations. And instead, what we've tried to do is say, well, look, we need to standardize and scale social performance so everyone can access it. And it's ended up being, uh, the approach we've used is 15 minute phone-based standardized surveys. And the phone is key because these days, anyone, virtually everyone all over the world has access to a mobile phone, which was not necessarily the case when we first started this work. There are lots of different ways you can contact people by phone, by SMS, by IVR, by by text, but um, we've found that actually a person-to-person -person conversation is the most effective at asking the sorts of questions we do around social research um, to both our collect qualitative and quantitative data. So we built a network of research assistants, more than eight hundred now, more than, sorry, more than a thousand now in eighty odd countries, and by using a standardised survey with dozens and sometimes hundreds of organisations at the same time, we can then collect the same standardized data and create performance benchmarks, which often are indices, like our microfinance impact index, which is now used by in its first year. And we do our work is, is done on an annual basis so that people do repeat this data collection 
over again, just like their financial accounts. In our first year, 70 odd organizations used it. In our second year, we've got more than 120 financial service providers all collecting the same data. What is this data? Well, it's over five impact themes, and these are financial access, business impacts, household impacts, financial management, and financial resilience, all reported by the people that are that are, that are taking loans through FSPs. There is a sixth impact theme that some organizations use around um, financial autonomy. There are 18 indicators, outcome indicators underneath this index, and these are all aggregated up into a single index. And then you can look at the performance of all of the MFIs. And when we first started, we were somewhat concerned that actually, because these are fairly homogenous, homogenous product, the impact performance might be quite standardized. And then maybe you would want to just use proxies. It wouldn't be worth collecting this data. But what we've seen is that there's huge variation in impact performance, which might be down to the execution of the of the of the loan, the, the loan officers, the marketing strategy, the way in which the terms of the loan are explained. And each of these areas has an impact on the social performance. And so organizations that are at the top of our performance um, benchmarks are doing these things potentially better or more effectively than those that are lower down. And there's therefore opportunities for those that are lower down those, the index to learn from and improve their performance. Each organization is given a, a individual scorecard against all the different indicators, and they can start to see areas of strength, potentially areas of weakness about the impacts they're creating. And they can think about strategies in terms of their impact management to improve that. We're now scaling these products beyond microfinance. We have products for, for um, off-grid energy, for smallholder farmers and food systems, for um, quality jobs, for workforce development, um, and a host of other areas. And by more and more firms adopting these standardized survey tools, where we speak to a statistically significant representative group of, serve, of, of clients with a 10 to 15 minute phone-based conversation, and return that data in 12 weeks, as more and more organizations get that kind of data, we're gonna see a higher and higher bar for what it really means to do proper impact measurement and management. And if we all start to adopt these kinds of standards, then we'll learn more, there'll be more collective in impact intelligence about what works, why, and where, there'll be more accountability with respect to who is getting the top performance, and as a result of which, the sector itself will start to create even more impact. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you really enjoy the rest of the conference.